say fuck the gatekeepers. It's not an attack on the gatekeepers. It's really a rallying cry for people to say, figure out what you want to do and then figure out a way to do it. And the first person that tells you no, just think, fuck the gatekeepers. I'm going to make this happen. So talk about how you went from being a young gal out here in Diamond Bar, California, listening to K-Rock, dreaming about the music business, and then getting a chance to be a part of that business. How'd you, how'd you get here, Lisa Worden? Um, well, I think that that's a long story, but I'll try to make it short. Um, I interned while I was in college, and that was a big part of me getting into the music business. Um, that got my foot in the door. I actually interned at the label that your wife worked at at the time. Um, Tell us how you had that happen, because it's a funny story how that happens, being in the right place, right time. Um, it is a funny story. So I had sent out several resumes to record companies and got no reply. And then my sister heard a DJ on K-Rock say that SBK Records needed interns and wrote down the phone number. And then I called and got an interview. And that's how I got my foot in the door. Unbelievable. It's funny yeah. how so many people that I've talked to have these things where something just kind of random appeared to happen. But the fact is, the, the, the people that were the, bene the beneficiaries of that had been thinking and plotting and trying to be in a place where something good could happen. So you were doing a similar kind of thing, right? Um, yeah. I mean, you mean as far as trying to get trying into... Trying to be in a place where something good could happen. Oh, yeah. I always knew I wanted to work in music. So mm -hmm. I was doing anything I could to get in the business. And... Mm -hmm. You know, once I got that internship, it was like, foot's in the door, it's on, I'm now getting Tell this. me about that first interim. What, what did they have you do in addition <laughs> to all the, get the oh. coffee, get the newspaper, oh, and go yeah. pick up my laundry? Oh, yeah, I did lunch runs, I did mailers, so I'm in the mailroom for an hour, mailing CDs to radio stations, I answered phones for several promotion people, um... I had to go and make reservations at a restaurant for a big dinner, and I had to go sit there and make sure the table was held. I mean, it was it was all the uh, the peon work, pretty much. Any of that stuff you studied back at uh, Cal State Long Beach? No. No, no. Not the a, reason not I bring a, that up is because so many young people you know, will look at Elisa Worden, right, and they'll see the end result of 20 years plus of grinding it out. But it started with that notion of, I'm going to get in. Yep. I'm going to do whatever it takes to Absolutely. stay here and make an impression. When you when you're talking to young people about getting in the business, do do you, do you relay those stories? Did you did you remind them that it was I'll do anything? Oh, absolutely. And you know, I I don't mean this in a bad way, but I feel like because I hire people to work at K Rock as phone ops, and that's mm -hmm. the part time entry level position at K Rock, and I feel like. These days, there's a little bit more of a sense of entitlement with younger people these days. And when I was growing up, I was like, I'll do anything. I will mm. go feed your dog. I'll get your dry cleaning. I'll wash your car. I will, I'll do all those things. And I didn't care because I really wanted to be in this business. And now I'm noticing, you know, not all, but some of the younger generation, they just, they don't understand that it takes that kind of vigilance and drive to get to where you want to be. It's interesting you say that, because we could, we, now see, I've already, right off my script here, gentlemen, but that whole notion of entitlement is something that, is, you're not the only one that feels it, I feel that myself. And I think where it's been highlighted for me is when I travel with the Incubus guys and go to different countries. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here in America, we take a lot of things for granted, yep. you know. When you go other places, you realize that the American dream is still alive in a big way. But it's everybody who wants to come here to do all the things yeah. that, that we're dreaming of. But they're much more prepared mentally, in my opinion, yeah. um, to do the kinds of things it takes. And instead of, you know, being happy to go fetch somebody's coffee because you got a chance to make an impression, they, they go, hey, I don't do that kind of right. stuff, right? right? And so I think for all you folks that are out there that are actually contemplating um, a career in the music business, when I say fuck the gatekeepers, part of it is you're going to do that by infiltrating first, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and getting a chance to do something.